Hello, this is Sarah Brosh. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I went darker with my hair and I don't think I like it. So I think I'm gonna probably redo this video. But I wanted to do a quick introductory video to my YouTube channel. So I am, in fact, the Sarah Brosh, the purported villain of the living or napping while black incident at Yale University, but in actual fact, I am the entirely innocent victim of the living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale University. Um, my life was destroyed, including my lifelong human and civil rights academic and legal careers by the Yale administration and police who told disgusting lies about me after May 8th, 2018, even though they knew I was entirely innocent the entire time. And then subsequently, my life was further decimated by the moral outrage industry, New York Times, CNN, MSNBC, NBC News, Washington Post, GMA, The View, the list just goes on and on and on and as well as um, the persons whom I'm referring to as moral outrage warriors, including on social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter. And these include public figures with blue check marks and millions of followers, public figures such as Shonda Rhimes, um, Joy Reid, Whoopi Goldberg, and the list goes on and on and on, who incited death threat sending mobs against me, an innocent nobody, who could not have been less of a public figure, who was living like a hermit at the top of a tower on Yale's campus in an isolated dorm room, struggling with mental health disabilities, including severe PTSD, and the only thing I wanted in the whole world was to be left alone and in peace to complete my PhD dissertation, which I consider to be my life's work and my Saving the World project. So what's happening now is that I am desperately trying to raise legal funds so that I can sue pretty much everyone. <laughs> yeah, but it's not just about saving my life and career. It's about standing up and securing justice for everyone who has been falsely accused and cyber mobbed and defamed. And it's about restoring civil liberties, especially on college campuses across the US, including Yale. And it's about making sure, and that includes due process and free speech, and it's about making sure that the moral outrage industry doesn't drive one more innocent person to suicide and doesn't destroy one more innocent life and career. We have to put a stop to this. It's not okay. It's not okay to get innocent people killed, innocent and vulnerable people killed for sport and for profit and gain. It's not okay and it has to stop. And this includes the Yale administration and police. They lied about me. They were complicit in the living or napping while black hate crime hoax at Yale and they lied about me, told disgusting lies about me, knowing that it would endanger my life and destroy my life and career. And they did this to cover up their own wrongdoing. And they have to be held accountable and brought to justice. And I will never stop fighting for justice, especially for those persons who have already killed themselves. And I came very close a couple nights ago and I'm still hanging on by a thread. So please help me in my fight to secure justice. I will put my PayPal me and GoFundMe links below. Please donate to my legal fund. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for all of your kind words and your donations and your support. They mean everything to me. You are literally saving my life and career. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, I'll talk to you later.